ladies and gentlemen, to a special broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. It's the Lord's Day. It's Sunday, and I want to do a quick video to get you updated on what's going on in Iraq. Okay, you know that Wednesday uh, we got a base in Iraq. Uh, some rockets were fired, many rockets were fired at the base, and it killed some U.S. servicemen and wounded uh, a lot of people. And uh, and uh, President, our Commander in Chief Donald Trump, did an airstrike at uh, precision targets, uh, weapon depots, and such like that. That the uh, uh, people uh, that uh, are responsible for this, I truly believe, and I'll go out on a limb and say this: that Iran is ultimately behind this. Iran is definitely ultimately behind this. That's my personal opinion, and I uh, I think it's the correct opinion. That, and I'm sure I'm not the only one to think that Iran is ultimately responsible for this. Now, uh, yesterday, another attack by rockets, uh, many rockets. Again, I think it was 20, 30 rockets were fired, and uh, people uh, definitely got wounded. And uh, so, uh, what, what's going on in Iraq? Okay, what you're seeing is a fight for power for lack of better terms. Uh, they want to make it as miserable as possible for U.S. Uh, to leave there and to take control. And this is ultimately uh, the doings of Iran. Uh, Iran, we know, that are heavily involved in Yemen. They are involved in Syria. Their tentacles are spreading out in the east, combating U.S. objectives and uh, hurting U.S. security uh, interests in our allies in the region. Now, uh, you have a very unique situation in uh, Iraq. You have the Iraqi army, but you also have groups within the army fighting, uh, uh, launching attacks against other groups of the army. This is uh, a tactic of confusion and uh, to turn one against the other, and it's the doing and handwork of Iran. Iran wants U.S. out the region for what? For they can take a greater control in the region. This is exact. This is a perfect example of why Iran should not have any ballistic missile capabilities and definitely, at all costs, no nuclear uh, capabilities. I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that Iran is on the march of getting nuclear capabilities. They already have the missile striking capabilities. They're on their march, if they haven't got it already, to obtain nuclear weapons. And it would be highly, highly not in the interest of U.S. nor Israel for we to sit back and let Iran obtain nuclear weapons. Iran was, uh, Israel uh, in their uh, covert operation proved to the whole world that even with the nuclear deal, Iran was still working on nuclear, uh, obtaining nuclear weapons. That was proved by Netanyahu and when he did the, uh, the uh, uh, covert operation that sent forces into Iran to obtain documentations of that very fact. Uh, Iran is uh, trying to grow. They're trying to grow and they're trying to grow militarily by force. And if they say any other, that is a complete absolute false. Uh, Iran is uh, heavily involved in Yemen and they're heavily involved in Syria, ladies and gentlemen. And Iran, the leaders of Iran openly uh, denounce Israel and the destruction of Israel. Can you imagine them with nuclear capabilities? They already got the missiles, the launch. They already got that. But uh, let's get on to the topic. Three U.S. troops, as reported by Reuters, Three U.S. troops, I hope you can see this, uh, the lighting I'm still working on. Three U.S. US troops wounded in re uh, renewed rocket attacks on Iraq's uh, base. Let us uh, let me read some of the, uh, I, I hope you can see the small print, but I'll read it anyway. Three American troops and several Iraqi forces were wounded on Saturday in a second major rocket attack in the past week on an Iraqi base north of Baghdad, U.S. and Iraqi officials said raising the stakes in an escalating cycle of a, uh, rep and attacks and rep uh, reprisals. We have to, and I know it's an election year, 
And I know uh, most likely no major decisions should be made uh, in any uh, presidential election. Uh, the president tends to stay away from any uh, major decisions. Uh, but I can assure you, we have to stop Iran. We have to stop Iran. Now, I'm not being a warmonger. I'm just the opposite of warmonger. I'm just stating the simple facts. Iran is very dangerous for Israel and U.S. interests in the region. And uh, Israel is, if the United States is not going to stop Iran, and I think they may in the near future, I think Israel will do it. But uh, with that said, I wanted to give you an update. It happened yesterday. Uh, three uh, U.S. troops wounded in renewed rocket attacks. So with that in mind, you're watching and listening to another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. We love you. Thank you.